what's up guys good morning welcome to my youtube channel i go by a piece with came on here good morning i actually just woke up and uh i got something to tell y'all i got a lot to tell y'all baby we're about to get into the truth of moving them and when i say the truth i mean nothing but the truth nothing but the truth so let's get straight into this um by the way this video this is moving out of your parents house kind of move out this is move out in like a housing not move out with like in a dorm like this is like moving out of your parents house getting an apartment or something like that kind of thing and i just feel like it's only right for me to give y'all some true insight I don't even know where to start, bro. That's what's crazy. I have no idea where to start. Um, the truth about moving out. Um, well, I'll give you this for the real truth. You will be okay. You will be okay. As long as you pay your rent, pay your bills. As long as you pay all the bills that you need to and your rent and watch your spending money like on once and take a good advantage of like food wise and stuff like going out to eat compared to what you got or making sit and shake you will be straight if you pay your bills and watch how much you spend your money and keep in mind like oh okay well i bought 20 dollars worth of this and then i bought this 10 dollars shirt like, watching what you spend and knowing that, you know, you're pretty good at not spending your money super a lot on, like, dumb shit, you'll, hon you'll honestly be okay. So, before you move out, um, you know, you gotta have some savings because you gotta pay, you know, when you're about to first get into a place, you got the application fee, you got the deposit, security deposit, first month's rent um startup fees for things like our water setup fee was 75 dollars but you know you want to have at least if i'm being honest if i'm being really honest in terms of how much you should have saved in your bank account before you want to move out um honestly the least you honestly want to have at least three to five thousand saved up at least from that range if you can go any higher than that baby that's perfect but you know you really want to make sure you have savings you know in case of anything i didn't know i need a new tire i ended up needing to get a new tire that was like what 100 i don't know i forgot how much i paid for the damn tire but things happen out of our control and even when you do eventually move out of your parents house after you've put down your savings towards um deposits and and all the contracts and fees and shit you still want to make sure you have savings up ahead in time and save more in the future not save more in the future but keep saving on you know just you know um when you move out you know pay your rent your utilities pay the shit that's mandatory if you want to buy something that's once you know make sure you can watch how much you spend on that and save some money but <laughs> You gotta ask yourself before I move out, by myself or with roommates? Girl, baby. The thing is, I think people go to roommates financial wise, knowing it'd be cheaper, splitting the costs of things. You can know somebody, but when you live with them, it's a total switch. It's so different. And you actually see people's habits. You see how people treat, you know, your environment. You see, you see a lot of stuff and you see how hungry niggas can get. So you got to like keep in mind of who that you want to surround yourself to live with because you can do it with one wrong person and they can change a lot of shit. <sighs> There's just so much. I don't even know how to start. Living by yourself. Some people say it can get lonely and they say you know obviously i know living by yourself is more because you got it you're the only one you're the only income no one else it's just you but i will say this i feel like moving and living by yourself 
baby there's nothing wrong with that if you live by yourself oh you are so grateful you are so grateful because living by yourself i think even if you're cool sometimes bro some people are cool at being alone and that doesn't bother them like me i think living and moving out makes me think and come to a final conclusion that i think i'm mentally better living by myself i think i would i really think so because i mean i like talking to people and shit but like i i like to kick it when i'm like by myself and some people that you invite to your place bro they're not respectful of your shit so it's like mm, i don't really think i want to like kind of be around people so like if it's just me baby i know i'm the only head i gotta deal with and it's just like i feel like you gotta i mean i'm thinking to myself like this do i want peace of mind or do i care about rent and bills being cost in half and if i'm being honest if i'm being a million percent honest peace of mind peace of mind over money i honestly probably would not even care how much i would have to pay by myself living alone rather than living with roommates that you gotta deal with shit and deal with the guests that they bring especially if you don't know them and especially when they come up into your shit and they sleep over so it's like well fuck i thought you know it was just me and my roommate living here but now who the fuck is this sleeping on a couch <clears throat> and you know you gotta be aware of your personal belongings your shit you know you gotta watch out um oh my god you have to watch out for food you gotta hide your snacks you gotta hide what you eat you gotta like put bags of special shit in the refrigerator and freezer so niggas don't like take your shit and be thinking what the fuck this is because y'all i promise if you're gonna get some roommates please 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 think about it if you feel like you could live with this person if you know someone's habits if they show a lot of red flags like they hang around um people that you don't really like or you think that they're just a really kind of unresponsible person honestly you know like i said just rethink it if that's what you prefer but i feel like if you're by yourself you know that it's just gonna be you you know that it's gonna be no one else you have to worry about now yeah it'll probably get lonely probably get quiet probably get scary but like I said, man, I mean, peace of mind. I think I would just go at peace of mind a lot because with roommates, bro, I'm gonna give y'all the rundown roommates, bro. Mates are cool. Like I said, until you got to get used to the people that they bring around and it's just like, <laughs> who the fuck are these people? Especially when you got an eerie feeling about them. And then, you know, you, you gotta end up talking to your roommates about it and you gotta end up like keeping your not keeping your cool but like i've read and heard some people like when they roommate with each other like sometimes bonds and friendships and relationships end because it just wasn't working out with two people living together or three or four or however many you make sure if you're gonna get a roommate or roommates that it's someone that you feel like you can trust you feel like you can be around you know the people they hang around so if they bring someone over it's like okay i know who this person is or ooh, i think i know who this person is and you're just like mm, i don't really got a decent feeling about them you gotta like really make sure about it because baby <sighs> i think i just a girl oh my gosh my cat's in my video get your ass out my video what are you doing is i hate that it is more money living alone and that's what sucks especially because it's like if you know you are a homebody you don't do shit you know you just chill around most of the time you'll hang with people i feel like if one person just want to have a little 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 spot to themselves even like 300 square feet shit i don't think gotta be that expensive for one person to live on their own but i want to like buy my own house and maybe get some land and just live alone bro but roommates and i'm gonna be honest too i'm not close to people i don't have a best friend i don't have a group friends like i don't really have none of that i mean i have like people i can get close to and tell shit with i have people like i can be around but i'm a i'm a loner and like 
it doesn't bother me to be by myself and i feel like i know that's a decision i think i would prefer to rely on rather than roommates because roommates you just don't know what's gonna happen especially when you're gone or out of town and your roommate or roommates is there you know who's watching your dog your cat or whoever who are they bringing around are they going out somewhere and leaving someone to stay there and you gotta watch out when you look at your spot turning into a homeless shelter because you could have roommates or some shit and they could bring people over and have them sleep over all the time it's just like what the fuck like where's their rent like people get themselves too comfortable but you know hide your snacks if you feel like you need to man gee shit like don't put your especially if you the one that's out here buying it and someone else gonna take it oh hell no nah. mm -mm. that's why i said man i think of myself as, as something i'd probably go with um another truth about moving out um <clears throat> girl i'm not gonna say one more damn time okay 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 um bitch um another uh truth about moving out are the utilities that i feel like is pretty general pretty average that everyone does so there's your rent that is the that's gonna be the most thing that comes out of your pocket that you pay for monthly um you pay your rent once a month um there's your electricity that you pay that's another utility there's water some places include water in the spot in the facility for me i had to do gas like uh teco teco gas like heat um i think that's what makes the water warm in the house and makes showers hot and it turns and activate the stove on and oven that's at least what i had to do so we got that but i don't know i never really thought that was gonna be an expense i really had no idea until i moved in that i had to pay for gas um groceries um you got your groceries but groceries honestly i think it depends on how you eat and what you get you got your internet bill in case of you want internet um that is once a month as well and i think those are really all the sort of like housing sort of bills that you gotta pay your rent or mortgage electricity water if it's included or not gas if you have to pay it or not and then you got your internet and then there's renter's insurance um that's only like 12 or 13 dollars though i think a month or there's this thing that you can do it for a year that's if like if something happens to your place and you know you got your shit covered and and then you got <laughs> you got car insurance and then you got your phone bill and then oh and then you got car gas so life's pretty much hmm out here fucking us um and yeah i think and yeah i think uh that's pretty much it i'm gonna buy some food um just watch yourself if you like go out and spend like a lot of money on like going out to eat especially if you get like ten dollar trays and ten dollar meals and stuff you know that's gonna like eventually add up some shit will add up so you know you just want to make sure you watch on how much you're spending the truth about moving out if you get roommates there will be lots and lots of sex and it's just something that you just gotta accept it's gonna happen whether you're there whether you're not there and yeah <laughs> there's gonna be a lot of sex that you'll hear and all you can do is remove yourself from the situation if you want to or um ignore it but in all though on some real shit moving out from your parents house you really truly get this great feeling of there's no control above you. I think all the real truths I can think of so far. Um, you know, just watch how much you spend on anything. Just make sure you gotta pay anything that's mandatory. If you can enjoy your personal space and if you can enjoy being a homebody and maybe going out like every other day or so, you'll honestly be straight. You know, go to free events. If I had to decide or what I feel like is better roommates or living by yourself 
I'm gonna have to say living by yourself just to prevent anything. Maybe it's me and the people I know, but peace of mind, bro. Peace of mind, trust me. Cause when you realize, fuck, you gotta live with this shit. All of you thinking about is that damn lease for it to be up and for you to move out, you know? Don't break the lease though, because that's gonna be a lot of money. So just be patient, keep your cool. And just relax and just, you know, say what you got to say, if anything. But, shit, um, that's pretty much all I could really think of so far. Um, thanks for y'all for watching my video. I fuck with y'all. I'm going to come back and give y'all some more shit. And I hope y'all take care and peace out.